Hello, today I wanted to make a really quick video showing you how to use a dialog component in React. It's a super simple modal pop-up. Um, you can set modal pop-up or you can set it to not be a modal. Uh, but I'll just show you this really quick dialog component. It's using the Prime React uh, component library. It's super easy to use. Um, and I've done a few videos on this library in the past. So you can check out a playlist on my channel if you're interested in those. So let me go over really quickly what I've done to get a set up. So I've set up a new React app using create React app, and then I've changed app.js to app.jsx so I can use the JSX syntax. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've deleted some styles uh, in the default application and replaced it just with this div here with some padding and a grid display so that it's easier to see the different dialogues that we'll set up. Um, it's just for display purposes. I've also installed the Prime React library and Prime icons. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet if we'll be using Prime icons. Those are, again, just like an icon package that you may want to use throughout your application, uh, but it's not, it's not vital to use to install. So to install them, you can go ahead and run yarn add or npm install Prime React and Prime icons like so. So I've already installed them, so it's just going to give me a quick update here. And then I've also imported uh, a few things here. So I've imported the theme, the theme files here and the CSS files for Prime React, uh, which you can find in their Getting Started documentation, which I will leave a link in the description below. I think these first two, the theme and the core CSS, are required. The icons, again, that's just styling for the icons. Um, so if you choose to use those, then yes, that's required. But if you don't, then it's not required at all. I've also imported use state from React, which we'll use to uh, show, the, show whether or not the dialog will be visible. And then we've also imported button from Prime React. Um, you don't have to import this. I'm just going to import it to open up modals um, and the dialogs. Great. So let's get started. Um, inside this div here, I'm going to go ahead and add a new button. And so we'll make this button say, we'll have it set a label to show modal. And again, this modal is just a dialogue. And we'll on click, we'll set visible. Whoops. Set visible to true. Oops. Just like so. And let's see. So nothing should show up here other than the button. Oops, I got to start the application. And start. And let's see. There it is. So there's the button. It won't do anything yet. We haven't set um, modal. We haven't set the dialogue to be in the page yet. So let's do that next. Let's create the dialogue. So go down to the next line and say dialogue. Um, I'm not going to set a header quite yet, but what I will do is I'll say visible. And you can set that equal to the visible variable, uh, the state here. So now when I save this, it should open up the modal when I click on the button. So we've uh, clicked on it before and set the state. So when I click on it, it'll open up a modal here, uh, very small. And this button does not work, so when I have I have to first set on hide for that to work. So say on hide. Oops, we'll set it equal to a function, and that function is going to set visible to false, just like so. I'll space that out a little bit to make it a little prettier. And I'll let it save that. And now when I come back and I click on that close button, it should close just fine. So let's add some content in here. Let me grab some. Lorem Ipsum here. Right, so there it is. Um, let's see. Actually, I need to make this not closable or not self closing. And I'll close the dialog here. And I'll go ahead and put some text in there. And it should show up now. Great. So it's a little wide, uh, a little ugly here. So I'm going to go ahead and set a, a max width. Uh, this is pretty standard. If you look in their documentation, most of their um, most of their modals in the example have a max width of 50 VH. It's pretty standard, it uh, looks pretty good. So if I go ahead and save this, you'll see. There it is. So this is a good looking pop up here. Um, I kind of want some text here, maybe a header. So I'm going to go ahead and add a header now. And to do that, you just go ahead. I'll come over to the end here so it's a little easier to see. Header, and I'll set it equal to uh, modal header, just like so. And you can also, I believe you can set that equal to a JSX. Um, there you are. So modal header. Uh, right now it's draggable. Uh, that's, I did not realize that's default, but it looks like it is. So I think the, um, the 
property to change that is just draggable. So if I set draggable equal to false, it is now no longer draggable. Now for this specific modal um, display, I'm going to go ahead and show you one more property on this one and we'll start a new one. So this other property is going to be, uh, let me find it here, it's going to be dismissible. So it's going to be a dismissible mask. It's hard to say, dismissible mask, just like that. And once I set it and save, when I click on the background here, that modal will disappear, just like so. And the animations here are super smooth. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and create a new dialogue now. So I'll give us some space here and create a new dialogue. Actually, I'm gonna create a new button first. So the new button is going to say label equals show right. And now we'll do on click. And we're actually gonna have to set a new state here as well. So let's come up here and set a new state, say const visible right. So uh, GitHub Copilot here has completed it for me. So I did visible right, set visible right, and set it to false. And we'll set this to a new function, which is going to set visible right to true. Oops, there we are. And I'm not going to, actually, I'm going to close this. I'm sorry, this is the button, not the dialog. So I'm going to close this save and it should show up here perfect let's add a gap just to make this look a little prettier uh, make it a little more visible so let's see gap uh, we'll go with two rim and there we are so now if i set a new dialogue component here and let's see all visible is equal to visible right give copilot wants to complete it for me and uh we'll do yeah, on hide, this is correct as well. Let's see who is, this is all correct. On hide is equal to set visible right false, that's correct. 50 VH for the width, and we will keep the rest of this draggable false is fine, dismissible mask, and position right. Perfect, so uh, looks like GitHub Copilot has got this all figured out. Um, you can see here all the properties, most of them are exactly the same. The one that's different to make it come in from the right to set the position is going to be this position variable over here, or this position property, I'm sorry. Your options are right, left, um, I think they're, they're right, left, center, top, uh, bottom, and top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. So those are your options for position. So let's go ahead and set this to right. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and take the same paragraph here, copy it down into our dialogue here. And you can add buttons in here that do actions um, just like any other component. And I think it's a, it's a great component for confirmation, pop-ups, all that sort of stuff. So now you can see it's over here on the right. So if I click show right, it'll slide in from the right. And again, you can switch the position to all those positions I mentioned earlier. And all of them are in the documentation, which will also be in the link. And uh, in, in, we'll have a link in the description below. Great, so there's a couple more that I wanna show you. So let's go ahead and start a new dialogue here. And I'll do a resize, we're gonna do a resizable one. So this one will be a button again. Label is equal to show resizable. And let's see, on click, we'll set visible resizable. And again, we're gonna have to set a new use state up here. So const, that's gonna do it for me here, visible resizable. Great, and we'll set a new dialog now. Lab uh, not label, I'm sorry. We're gonna go visible is equal to visible resizable, and on hide is going to be equal to the function set visible resizable, resizable false, just like so. And we'll do the style again, we'll see. It has all the proper settings here, modal header, draggable false, dismissible mask, and the resizable property. Perfect. So this resizable property is all you need to add to the dialog um, to make it resizable. Now I'll go ahead and add the rest of this content here again, and we'll finish up the dialog. Show resizable. And now it looks like this should be resizable. I can drag it and resize it great um, so that's a cool property again not my not my uh, favorite necessarily I don't use it for very much but 
it is a property that is kind of cool and a little bit useful. Uh, and then there's a couple more. Actually, we'll show you one more here. Two more, I'm sorry, we'll do two more. Um, so one is maximizable. So when you use maximizable, uh, it allows the dialog to be displayed full screen. So let me do a new dialog here. And show resizable. We're going to change this to maximizable. I'm going to set this to show visible maximizable. Hope I spelled that right. And we're going to go ahead and set again a new state, and it should do it for me. There it is. And when I come down here, dialog, and I'm going to say, I'm going to let it go for a second, see if it comes up with them. If it does not, we'll do visible is equal to visible maximizable. On hide, it's equal to set maximizable false. Again, these are all the same as before. And it adds the maximizable property here. And should be able to fill in the paragraph that we had there. Perfect. And close up the dialog. Awesome. So I'm going to save that, head back, show maximizable. And I can see there's this maximizable button that opens it full screen. Again, great property, um, very helpful. So again, there's way more properties than I'm actually showing you on here. Um, you can go ahead, again, and look in the link in the description below to the documentation, check all of them out, play with them, see what you like, um, and use this as best you can. Um, this is seriously a great component with a lot of different options. And uh, I'm a big proponent of the Primary Act library. They did a great job, um, and it's open source as well. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is going to be long content. Uh, the deal with long content is it's not a new property. All it is is just throwing a bunch of content in there. So I'm actually going to just um, show you in the first modal, I'm going to go ahead and replace the content with a lot more lorem ipsum, and you're going to go ahead and see how that changes and how it affects the display here. So if I come up, change the this paragraph to multiple paragraphs with some line breaks, and then save that and show the modal here. You can see it extends um, to a little bit further and it gives a little patty on the top and the bottom there and allows you to scroll. So it makes it really, really useful. Um, I believe a footer would stay down here at the bottom as the header does here, fixed or, uh, or in a sticky position. And so this, uh, this modal has been super helpful for me. It looks great. It functions fantastic. So I hope you give it a try. I hope it helps. And if it does, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.